When we think of the SCP Foundation, we imagine dangerous anomalies and for good reason. Many of them only want to kill us and cause as much damage to our world as possible. Not all are hostile in nature, however, and some of them are even friendly towards us. In this SCP exploration episode, we present you our top 5 friendly SCPs list. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming exploring SCP videos and very soon we are exploring yet another famous SCP origin. Number 5. SCP-131 Object Class Safe SCP-131-A and B, nicknamed iPods by personnel, are a pair of teardrop-shaped creatures roughly one foot in height with a single blue eye in the middle of their bodies. SCP-131-A is orange in color, while SCP-131-B is mustard yellow. At the base of each creature is a wheel-like protrusion which enables movement and they can travel as quick as a professional sprinter. The subjects, however, lack a braking system which has led to some rather spectacular, if not amusing, incidents. The subjects have also shown the ability to climb sheer surfaces and have gotten lost in the air vents on more than one occasion. The subjects seem to have the intelligence of common house cats and are very curious. Most of the time they simply roll around the facility, observing personnel at work and catching peaks at other safe class SCPs. The subjects seem to be able to communicate with each other via an untranslatable high-pitched babbling. The subjects have never been observed to blink even in laboratories when the subjects have been videotaped for hours. The subjects respond well to any affection given to them and will quickly bond to the giver of said affection in the same way a puppy bonds with a human being. They will follow anyone they've made a bond with anywhere, even into normally restricted areas. Although curious, the subjects can sense danger and if the object of their bond begins to approach something they register as dangerous, for example Euclid or Keter class objects, they will swarm around their companion's feet while babbling in a panicked tone as if to warn them. If the subjects are ignored by their bonded target long enough, they will eventually lose interest and return to their normal activities. Both SCP-131 instances require no real care or maintenance from site staff. They do not eat, leave droppings or even sleep. In the time the anomalies have been contained, one notable incident has occurred. The subjects followed one of the cleaning staff on a routine cleaning of the container of SCP-173. After their normal attempts to warn the cleaner of the danger were ignored, the creatures rushed into the container in front of him and the other two personnel on duty. Once inside, the staff members observed the subjects sitting in front of SCP-173 and watching it intently, as if aware that it could only move if unobserved. When the cleaning crew left, the subjects did as well, rolling backwards slowly and never taking their eyes off SCP-173. As such, Applications of 131-A and B as wardens for SCP-173 are being considered. The SCP Foundation never fails to amaze us. This time we have eyeball looking creatures which behave like dogs and only want affection and friends. If the SCP Foundation wasn't as secretive, we could very well see more 131 instances being cloned and sold to the public as pets. Number 4 SCP-2295 Object Class Safe SCP-2295 is a patchwork teddy bear stuffed with synthetic fiber and cotton. SCP-2295 has a small, anatomically correct pin of a heart on the left side of its chest and a bow wrapped around its neck. The fabric and color of SCP-2295's patches vary. Tests confirm that no components of SCP-2295 contain any anomalous chemical properties. The entity enters an active state when within 2 meters of a human sustaining major trauma. When in the proximity of two or more possible subjects, 2295 will invariably choose the youngest subject. SCP-2295 will anomalously produce scissors, white thread, 
and either sewing needles or a crotcheting hook from its mouth and use any fabric and stuffing in close proximity to fashion an instance of SCP-2295-1, a patchwork imitation of the subject's organ. SCP-2295-1 vanishes from sight and the subject falls into a state of unconsciousness. The instance then replaces the subject's damaged organ via anomalous means. The whereabouts of organs replaced this way are undetermined. If there is no usable material in close proximity, SCP-2295 will use fabric and stuffing from itself, after which it will regenerate slowly. Anomalously produced organs successfully carry out their respective functions despite the numerous expected biological, chemical and medical incompatibilities. Once within the subject, adjacent tissues and veins attached to the imitated organ without observable complications. There have been no cases of rejected organs made by SCP-2295, and all subjects recorded have made full recoveries. Notable tests include the entity creating new lungs for a D-class with heavily damaged lungs as a result of 25 years of smoking, a new heart for a D-class with atherosclerosis and skin replacement for a subject with 2 degree burns. The teddy bear does have its limits, however, and when faced with a D-class with cerebral hemorrhaging, 2295 became distressed and nervously grasped nearby materials before giving up and giving the subject a chocolate bar. SCP-2295 then spends the rest of the test embracing the subject's lower right leg while crying. 2295 is incredibly friendly and shows great affection for all people, regardless of their status and history, as we've seen from all D-Class tests. Too bad SCPs as friendly as 2295 aren't found very often in the SCP agency. Number 3. SCP-343 Object Class Safe SCP-343, nicknamed God by Foundation employees, is an old, seemingly raceless man, although his detailed features appear different to each observer. SCP-343 was discovered walking the streets of Prague and was detained after a staff member witnessed him disappear from the streets and reappear on a rooftop. Luckily, SCP-343 has willingly allowed to be contained, as its apparent abilities would not allow forceful containment. During interviews, SCP-343 has claimed to be the creator of the universe. On one occasion, when asked to prove this claim, the entity walked through the wall of the chamber and returned seconds later with a hamburger in its hand. SCP-343 has also, on many occasions, changed the size and the style of its containment chamber depending on its current mood. SCP-343 greatly enjoys speaking with people and seems to have a knowledge of all topics. Due to the friendly nature of the SCP and the knowledge gained from each questioning, visiting SCP-343 has been left open and is now a daily event for many staff. Researchers also report feeling generally happier after each visit. The Foundation has attempted to limit access to SCP-343 to level 3 researchers and above but all attempts have proven unsuccessful, as guards assigned to watch the room quit their posts, saying, you know he likes company. SCP-343 claims to be the creator of the universe and has done plenty to prove its incredible capabilities. Despite allegedly being the almighty creator, 343 remains very humble and allows to be contained by its own creations, mere mortals. Moreover, SCP-343 is very friendly towards us and enjoys giving us knowledge, quite in contrary to most other famous SCPs in the Foundation, which only want to destroy us. Number 2. SCP-662 Object Class Safe SCP-662 is a small silver handbell, 4 cm tall, missing its ringer. Within the inside of the bell, an inscription has been etched into the silver, reading, quote, forever mine, SJW, end quote. The bell is susceptible to damage. However, given its safe nature, destruction has been deemed unnecessary. When the bell is rung, a soft chime is heard, and a well-dressed Caucasian butler of self-proclaimed British heritage, calling himself Mr. Deeds, will appear, usually from around a corner. 
Mr. Deeds will address the ringer of the bell by their appropriate title and last name and ask what it is they desire. Most reasonable requests will result in satisfaction. However, complex items such as sports cars, luxury homes or personal jets cannot be granted. If allowed to leave line of sight and return, he is able to produce smaller, less complex items such as a ham sandwich, a glass of iced tea or even more luxurious items like caviar or a brick of gold. Mr. Deeds will also perform menial tasks such as washing vehicles, preparing food and cleaning bathrooms. If a request is deemed unreasonable or impossible by the butler, he will kindly tell the ringer so and offer an alternative if one may be had. The butler is not immune to ill actions taken against him and can be killed or injured. If left out of sight and called upon afterwards, he will return as if nothing had happened. Examples of items successfully delivered by the butler include bricks of gold and silver, a Monopoly board game and a hand grenade. Requests of sandwiches with human meat and beverages with blood have been politely denied, a nuclear bomb likewise. Doing laundry washing dishes and cleaning cars are all tasks which Mr. Deeds has performed and on one occasion the butler even assassinated a D-class as requested. One interesting task deemed impossible by Mr. Deeds was the assassination of Osama bin Laden. The butler claimed bin Laden was too well guarded and entrenched but could not or would not give further details. SCP-662 is the definition of a friendly SCP a butler that fulfills any possible task required without hesitation. It's only unfortunate that Mr. Deeds appears very limited in his capabilities and can't be of real use to the Foundation apart from providing the odd sandwich to a hungry researcher. Number 1. SCP-999 Object Class Safe SCP-999 is a 120-pound amorphous gelatinous mass of slime Subject can change shape and size at will, though when at rest it is roughly 2 meters wide and 1 meter tall. Its surface consists of a thin, transparent membrane and is highly elastic, allowing it to flatten portions of its body. The rest of SCP-999's body is filled with a viscous orange substance of unknown chemical makeup. Subject's temperament is best described as playful and dog-like. When approached, SCP-999 will often react with overwhelming elation, slithering over to the nearest person and leaping upon them, hugging them with a pair of pseudopods while nuzzling the person's face with a third pseudopod, all the while emitting high-pitched gurgling noises. The surface of SCP-999 emits a pleasing odor that differs with each person. Recorded scents include chocolate, fresh laundry, bacon and roses. Simply touching SCP-999's surface causes an immediate mild euphoria, which intensifies the longer one is exposed to the entity and lasts long after separation. Subject's favorite activity is tickle wrestling, often by completely enveloping a person from the neck down and tickling them until asked to stop. Though injuries may occur, SCP-999 has never purposefully harmed others and will immediately back away and begin gurgling in a manner similar to a whimpering dog, seemingly apologizing. While the creature will interact with anyone, it has a special interest in those who are unhappy or hurt. Persons suffering from depression or PTSD, for example, have reported having a far more positive outlook on life after interactions with the entity. In addition to its playful behavior, SCP-999 seems to love all animals, refusing to eat any meat and even risking its own life to save others, on one occasion leaping in front of a person to take a bullet fired at them. SCP-999's diet consists entirely of candy and sweets, with M&Ms and Neko wafers being its favorites. SCP-999 has also been tested against SCP-682 to see just how powerful its cheerful effect is. 6A2 immediately steps on SCP-999, completely flattening it. Shortly afterwards, SCP-6A2 says it feels very well 
and 999 begins tickling the monster, which laughs and repeats the word happy. When SCP-999 was removed, however, 6A2 immediately reverts to being aggressive, kills the D-Class and breaches containment. It's quite amazing that SCP-999 is capable of calming the incredibly dangerous SCP-6A2, which as we know will stop at nothing on its goal to destroy humanity. SCP-999's friendliness is quite remarkable, and because of this the anomaly is one of the very few SCPs allowed to free roam the containment sites. The possibility of manufacturing antidepressants from SCP-999's slime is currently being researched. Should this prove successful, we can pretty much say that depression will be cured forever. This concludes our top 5 friendly SCP list. So which one do you think is the most friendly SCP? If there were any other nice SCP creatures that you think should have been included in the list, don't hesitate to share them with us in the comments. Please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, as we have many more interesting videos coming up in our SCP exploring series such as SCP theory videos on some of the most dangerous SCP creatures in the SCP wiki. SCP Containment Breach gameplay videos and more scary SCP videos. And as always, we will see you in the next video.